What's up, Tube Tube? Welcome to Low Guido's Chop Shop. Um, did a review on the LDT spring mags not that long ago, and there was a comment in the comment section from a Mr. Steve nine five something something. Um, shout outs to Mr. Steve. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. Um, one of the things that um, people may or may not have complained about and I certainly sort of thought about it as well myself is when you are trying to reload this if you are going to reload this on the field getting this spring to compress down here can be a bit of a task although I seem to have done it pretty easily just then um, there is actually a file available on Colts and I will try to put a link uh, in the description to where you can get it. Uh, no, it's not my file. I don't know whose it is, but shout outs to them. I'll put a link to it and props to you if you are the designer. Um, let me just check who, who the name is. So it's uh, Super Jalam, I believe is how you pronounce it on Colts. So shout outs. Um, he's put it up for free, but feel free to give him a tip. Uh, it looks like a pretty good little piece of kit. I'll print one out right now. Let's hit the printer. Alright, so I've got my bits here. Um, there are holes here. I imagine that's so you can put a screw in, but I think mine are fairly tight fit, so I might just give them a bit of a love tap. Just a gentle persuasion from the old persuadatron. That's solid, I'm not even going to bother putting screws in there. And the idea of this is you just grab your follower and you go like that. And that's from behind a tripod with no practice. Alright, let's try it again. Now I'm going to reposition myself. So the idea is, push it down, and it should set itself when it gets to the bottom. Oh yeah, cool. All right. Now let's have another crack at this. So I guess with a bit of practice, you could probably get quite good at this. Um, it certainly makes it a bit easier than uh, trying to push it by hand. Um, Maybe pushing down on something, a table or something, might assist it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not perfect, but it is certainly a good start. Having the ability to do it without having to worry about the spring flicking out and hitting you is, is always good. Uh, this is... A little bit cumbersome. It is about the size of a mag, so I guess you could have it in a mag pouch on the field if you wanted it on the field. But um, I feel like probably the best way to operate it is on a table. You kind of have to look at where this central pin is headed and make sure you get it into the little receptacle at the bottom there. And push it down. Once you push it down, it just locks itself in, which is cool. There's a little twist in the bottom there. So that's an option. Certainly will speed things up for you if you aren't particularly great at pushing the spring down in there. It takes a little bit of getting used to it. And when you do push it down, I've noticed you have to make sure that that piece is. Like if it's already locked that way, it's going to catch on the spring. So you're going to make sure it's parallel with the follower. And then you can push it down into the little hole. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's there. Link's there. I'm going to put it there. You can use it if you choose. It will certainly 
help you out if you find this mag spring a little bit annoying to push down. Take it or leave it. I don't mind it, but I think it's probably a little bit cumbersome to be carrying around. I'd probably still just do it by hand myself personally. Either way, it's there. It's an option. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good sweet stuff. Uh, throw out a, a, a tip to yeah, Super Gelam, who made this design. Um, and also, if you like what I'm doing, you can throw me a tip and, and buy me a coffee down below. I'll put the link down below. Shoutouts to my coffee supporters. Shoutouts to Adam Hoy. Shoutouts to AdJ20, um, who I forgot to shout out last video. And shoutouts to W Kent as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.